there still are the standard standard inherited colorectal cancer syndromes, right? Hereditary non-polyposis colon cancer, familial adenomatous polyposis, Lynch syndrome, attenuated polyposis. You know, there's all of those things we still need to know about. But adding uh, and the increased risk in ulcerative colitis and and to some degree in Crohn's disease. So those populations we need to be really vigilant. But now we add to it the young population, particularly when they come in with abdominal pain, diarrhea, blood in the stool, unexplained weight loss, or or they're found to have iron deficiency anemia, and then we need to do a, do a colonoscopy. Colonoscopy is is certainly the standard, and, and it, is, it is really the gold platinum standard because colonoscopy allows you the possibility to diagnose and treat and prevent. And what I mean by that is if somebody undergoes a colonoscopy and a polyp is found, we know that adenomatous polyps are the precursors of cancer in the majority of colon cancer cases. So if those polyps are removed, that patient will not go on to get colon cancer. And if you're 40 and we find small polyps in you, then we know we got to bring you back, you know, for future colonoscopies because you're making polyps when you're 40. And that's the time for us to intervene and talk about lifestyle changes. I think we're seeing a later onset or, or they're, they're presenting with higher acuity disease, um, later stages. And I think it's a factor of um, just them not getting into medical care earlier. I don't think any late, you know, if you're 39 and you're having these symptoms, you're not thinking I have colon cancer. You're thinking oh, I ate something, I'm working too hard. I'm People are presenting later because they're just not attributing their symptoms to something that could be serious. And that's a scary thought for a young person, totally understood. But if something is persistent and not getting better, you really got to get in to see your primary care doc. You may even come across primary care docs that are in your, you know, your group practice or your community practice that are asking you questions. Alert them to this phenomenon. Let them know what's going on. Let them know that the screening age has dropped to 45, but anybody that's coming in with some of these symptoms should probably get an evaluation. I think our society, our surgeons, the college, my society of colorectal surgery, we all have to sort of be willing to help advocate and market um, to our patients and to the and to the public at large and to politicians and, and whoever's willing to listen to change the direction that we're going in right now.